right now on the rundown because it is the debut of Jason Stark. Great to have you. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. Let's do this a lot, shall we? Okay, let's do that. All right. So I've been in a few rundowns, just never on the rundown. Exactly. <laughs> yes. This one is a lot cleaner. You don't have to Good. run around. Just Good stay here. That. And I'll, also, you're obviously writing for the Athletics, so we're checking out the latest for your ten numbers. And you do this every season, right? That define baseball, breaking down some of the best numbers. Uh, I do. Uh, I do numbers pretty much round the clock. <laughs> <laughs> These are your ten favorites. They for are. 2018. So I want to pick a few. I want to start with what centers around Manny Machado and Bryce Harper. Obviously, all eyes are on them on what they do on the field, but really what it's going to turn into in terms of dollar signs. Yeah. Uh, these two guys, as you know, are a year away from free agency, and they're going to hit the market at age 26. And we've almost never seen this. Two players this great hitting free agency at the same time at this age. I actually did the math. There, there have been 10 players who have hit the market at 26 or younger, but seven of them were in the first five years of free agency. Now you get to the last 35 years, you've only got three, and let's just say you've heard of them, right? The first was that Alex Rodriguez. He did okay for himself. Mere 10-year, $252 million deal, which he then opted out of and got another 10-year deal, so it worked out fine for him. Adrian Beltre, five-year deal. Forget how young Adrian Beltre got to the big leagues. He's been in the big leagues for two decades. He's still not 40 years old. Uh, he had enough time to hit free agency again after his age 30 season. And then the Jake Jason Hayward deal is still playing itself out. We're in year three of that one. But my point is <laughs> that after what we saw last winter with all of these aging free agents on the wrong side of 30 struggling to get jobs, the guys who hit free agency young in their mid-20s, this kind of player this kind of age, I don't think they're going to have to worry about sitting around until March looking for a deal. That's the name of the game, though, too, where if you can get to the big leagues quickly, like Ronald Acuna is 20 years old. If you yeah. can get to the big Correct. leagues. Correct. Get there quick. <laughs> cash out can. more. <laughs> Good advice from Scott Braun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so you took a look at Shohei Otani's numbers as well. And, you know, people were freaking out. Is he going to be the next <laughs> Japanese Babe Ruth? No, because of his spring numbers. Tell me again why spring training numbers don't matter. Because, come on, why are we even worried about it? This guy's hitting home runs and pitching well, doing exactly what we thought he was going to. Right, this just in. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. <laughs> you know, I, I talked to... Uh, People who have seen him play in Japan 40 and 50 times. Talk to teams that were in the bidding and didn't get him. This is what they expected. And what a fun week Shohei Otani's had. First, he goes out to pitch on Sunday. How'd that go? He was clocked at 100 miles an hour, three different pitches. Then, two days later, he goes out and hits a home run off Josh Tomlin. And then, for the coup de grace, <laughs> hits this incredible bomb off Corey Kluber. Now... What we're seeing, we just don't see, okay? This is a list of players in the last 10 seasons with multiple pitches of 100 miles an hour and multiple home runs, okay? Noah Syndergaard, Steven Strasburg, Garrett Cole, Jeff Samarja, and the late, great Jose Fernandez, and now Shohei Otani, who crammed it all into one week. Wow. Amazing. Human beings are not supposed to, to be do a part this. Of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, and it was pretty impressive to see because his weakest hit of the year was off of Kluber, which was, I, I thought, the most <laughs> impressive stat. I mean, it's incredible. His exit velo, he's like among one of the top guys in the league in terms of exit velocity. Right. And, you know, think about this. All right? he's, he hits the ball harder than just about anyone in the sport. He and Luis Severino are the only starting pitchers who have hit 100 so far this year. And running speed, he's one of the 10 fastest players in the big leagues. He is a freak.